The boy in Thailand, they become to a Muay Thai fighter because first they saw it, you know, and they want to try it. No one knows they will be good. When they saw it, I always want to be like the guy. Be, I want to be like a guy on TV. I want to be like a champ, like a little boy, but you know, superhero thing. You want to be a superhero. I really could remember about everything about because I my life is to do the mask without Muay Thai. You know? So let let's start from the day one of fighting. I remember I'm still remember the day one when it set to the ring. I remember about that. Been about eleven years old. The second one when I jump to the bus to go to the feather camp in Bangkok that's I'm really happy to go see oh it's a real fighting camp really excited when I got accepted from Mr. Wong owner of the feather to stay there for them to fight for them and then I become to hit pad with the uh, I just know it with my first trainer. I'm really, I'm still remember about it. The first day, he, I hope that for me, he's teaching me. And then I come to first fight in Lumidin Stadium. Continue to be fighting, fighting, and then, you know, to be the um, Lumidin champion at the 17 and a half year. So, boy, you know, like almost 18. So I'm 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 I'm, I'm proud the uh, Lumini champion at 126 power is more memorable for me. And then getting to come here again, and then I I, I entry to the the country, and then um, I fight for Star Force, you know, in America for a while, and then my last fight was New York. So that's that's the small thing in Korea now. Why I want to become to the coach, what I'm doing is continue like all the fighters in Thailand after after the retirement from the fighting they some some of them do something out mostly become to the trainer I'm one of them just like the next step into it I'm I i do not think I'm a good coach yet but I'm still learning so I'm I'm trying to be you know. So what was why I do it because I love, you know. But I love to do this thing. When it becomes to the good course, I want to be I want them to be better than I am. I want them better than I am. What I did before because I did before I do a lot of mistakes. I do that's what I'm learning too. That's why my translation to my to my students, to my member, it form my mistake to be good. So I think I think I transfer really well for them because I don't teach for my mistake or to my to my students. I, I teach if the way I have a good experiences. So because I do I do so when I was fighting I, I do so many I do so many something with mistake, you know? <laughs> so many now. So that's why I learned it now. I know it the next the next guy should be better than M. There is a big reason why I fight. I didn't come to the gym with an epiphany. I want to train, I want to fight. It was more of this could be my new hobby, this could be awesome. And immediately I was addicted. I started going once a week, three times a week, and pretty soon it was every single day. Uh, but then along the way, I really, really loved it. I enjoy the way that I get to feel. I enjoy the new confidence that it built in me. It shows in my life and my work. I enjoy the community and the family uh, that I was able to build in Muay Thai. And I seeked out Drasana because I want to be better. There's unlocked potential in me, and I know I can be better. And I, I, I see the landscape of Muay Thai and women in Muay Thai right now, and I know I'm up there with them. And they're, they're, there needs to be a shift in me, a shift in focus in my, in my mentality and brain, but there needs to be a shift in my training as well. And I think Jong Sanan is the answer to that. If I have a rough day at work, no matter how tough the day is, when I get to the gym, 
I stand in front of Dr. Johnson and I, uh, the, the, the gym starts when he goes, Lil, 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 get ready, let's go, let's go. Uh, that, that's cute, everyone, shut up, get ready, don't talk back. And when I'm standing in front of him, it was two rounds, four rounds, six rounds, I can't, I'm, I'm, I, I can't, it's not, I'm not allowed, but I can't think of anything else. All the stress of, of the day just simply goes away because I'm not thinking about it. And at the end of it, whatever I felt during the day, whatever uh, issues I had at work or, or difficulties, seems small and mighty compared to the hell that he just put me through. <laughs> um, that's what I love about it. You know, there's so many benefits to be reaped from what a man Muay Thai and it has, and it really doesn't even have much to do with fighting. It has to do with the just person walks off the street and what they, what they learn coming to the gym. And it's not just a skill. It's not just learning how to throw a punch or a kick, but it's learning how to push through hard things. Like when you have to hit pads for three rounds, you have to learn to be okay with being uncomfortable. You have to commit to this. You have to show up every day. You have to, there's a certain amount of mental fortitude that you get to develop here. And, you know, teaching the women, the women classes and the women sparring classes, it's so awesome to see that happen where you can take someone who walked in off the street, you know, three months ago, and then help them to build their confidence and to learn the skills and to see the confidence that they develop and the, the body awareness and the, the, the skills and just and to watch these people flourish and it's one of my favorite things. You know, I love this gym and I really, if I didn't believe in Jong Sanan and his talent and ability, I, I would not have put my heart and soul into this gym because I, I know everything he does is it's special it's rare and it, it i'm glad that i can give him the stage to sort of spread this knowledge i'm lucky that i have malia behind me who helping me so um, can be a good a good teamwork i need a teamwork basically to be for the gym that's it you know so I need a teamwork and it's and it's hope still and it's support still. So you know, so good so far for now and then no matter what I do, you know, I'm I'm loving. I, I happy with what what I'm doing now.